Well, hello everyone, it's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and what I wanted to show you guys today is the application of choice that I like to use, which is made for a Mac or a PC, is Camtasia to, rec to record my screen. Now, what are you seeing in front of you here? I have Camtasia in reference to um, the getting, you know, I'm about to get started in reference to recording my video here. And then I also have my sound right here within System Preferences. So on the Mac here, if you go to System Preferences, you go to Sound, and then you have the input right there, and you can see the histogram bouncing around there. And you notice the histogram up here bouncing around, but you notice that if you can kind of see both of them at the same time as I'm speaking there, that the histogram on Camtasia is going into the red, but the histogram on the computer output from system preferences is going into you know it's not going all the way full it looks like those levels are pretty good but you know um, basically you know you can see where you know our levels are not necessarily even uh, I always do this to make sure that I'm coming through really clear and everything's good I don't want to sound too loud on Camtasia but just okay on the Mac there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of turn this down here and you'll notice that my histograms are starting to become a little bit more even in reference to you know uh, Camtasia and the Mac there it's not really going into the red that often and actually you never ever ever want to go into the red there now here's one thing to make sure that you're totally aware of when you actually get ready to set up your uh, recording and you're going to do a voiceover and you're going to record your screen there if you have it extremely high here and like I mentioned before you definitely don't want to go into the red but here's one thing I always do I'm always really quiet for a moment just to see what's going on with my histogram so as I don't say anything I want you to watch my levels and see if you see any type of bounce and intentionally I have my fan on here in my bedroom the ceiling fan running and sometimes I have to this is where I get my reminder to turn the fan off so I'm gonna be quiet and watch what happens here so right there in pan uh, right here in Camtasia you can see where that it started bouncing around let's do it one more time let's test it one more time okay so you see the little interference there so what I'm going to do now I can still keep the fan on because it can get kinda hot up here it is summertime so I'm not gonna say anything and I want you to watch my histograms now okay so you see you notice that nothing happened there and as you can probably hear me in the background there I just turned off my fan so it's just best practice to make sure you turn off everything around you that way nothing's kinda interfered there in reference to recording your video and you know getting the best quality that you want in reference to you know uh, your recording that you're going to be doing in reference to using something like Camtasia or ScreenFlow uh, and actually I'm using Screen flow here in order to show you Camtasia I couldn't show you Camtasia and you know record at the same time there so just make sure that your levels are always good um, you know I am using a Panasonic a Planasonic headset here and you can see it as well right here once again it looks really dorky that's the reason why I never really showed myself on camera for the simple fact that I have this headset on with this microphone coming out the side of it and it looks like you know I'm this you know tech guy in reference to like a sound crew but I want to give you the best quality sound when I talk to you and you can you know another thing I would suggest is a blue snowball or a Yeti um, microphone those are some of the best here and you see my input where I can hear myself in reference to uh, the headphones here and the sound effects I have it set on there as well um, and you know always make sure that you know over here on the Mac here you can see where we have the notification center right here you know and a lot of times where people wear um, people will tweet you or text you or something to that degree um, you don't want that happening in the middle of your video while you're recording so I'm just gonna hit my um, command key my actually my option key and click that and I just turned off all the notifications so no notifications are going to fly into my screen there and make any type of noise at any given time you know and another thing that you want to be definitely aware of and this is something that I kind of get a rude and crude reminder I'm in the middle of my video I'm recording I'm speaking I'm talking you know and what happens is my phone you know just decides to just you know 
make some type of noise just like that you know it never fails and i left the um you can see where spayro my my email and you can hear the chime that just popped in there and i turned off the notifications that's the only reason you didn't see it fly in there but you don't want those type of interruptions in reference to why you're recording the video um to make it look really unprofessional every once in a while i do forget to turn it off you know but you know that's audio right there you know make sure you get your audio together let's go ahead and bring our levels back down and let's speak at a level here that's really conforming and that's really good and you can see my levels are really good and sometimes i really enunciate some of the stuff that I'm saying here and you can see where my histogram bounces up there and it really jumps up there and it's not necessarily going into the red unless I make a really loud noise or say something with a lot of excitement which I still never really want to see that red inside my histogram and everything's looking pretty level it looks like the Mac here you can see where it kind of sticks for a moment and shows you um, where your top levels are and it shows you right over in here it bounces up and down and this never has gone into the red pretty much the whole entire time that we've been speaking here so just make sure that your levels are good in Camtasia your screen recording whatever it is you're doing even if you're going to be on camera invest in some type of microphone to where people can really hear you because if people can't understand what you're saying if you can't really hear um, if the quality is not good it's a major turn off and people really won't want to watch your videos you know and you know try your best to keep in mind to enunciate the best that you can um, really make all your words really come through in full for the simple fact that you want to make sure that you're being heard um, completely um, you want to make sure that you're being understood and really try to enunciate try to keep on your mind piece of piece of paper in front of you as you're recording and just write the word enunciate or just some type of reminder to help you under you know make sure that you get because you only get one opportunity you only get one opportunity to make this video and impress somebody and you may seem kind of silly you know anytime I do a photo shoot for anyone I always tell them you know be extra you know and they're looking at me like okay this is kind of weird I don't really know how to be extra with my poses here but you know we're gonna take a thousand shots and we're only gonna keep about 10 shots so when you're extra and you're doing stuff that's extra trust me the camera is gonna capture that it's gonna look really good for that still photography uh, that picture that you're only gonna use one time you know for the rest of your life you know and you want it to be an awesome great picture and 90% of the pictures believe me they're being extra in the picture um, but you don't necessarily realize that you know in reference to you know being with them on a day-to-day -day basis you know that's not really the Kim Kardashian that you know Kanye West deals with every single day you know for example in reference to some of the pictures and photos you see of her because she's extremely extra you know and the last little tip that I'm just gonna leave you I would advise you not to just necessarily watch a video of one of your favorite artists I would advise you to go and watch the behind the scenes in reference to your favorite artist creating the video and you'll see how they're being extremely extra as they're you know creating that video so when you're talking doing a voiceover you're doing a video you know don't come off as fake but just be a little extra it's okay to be a little extra and enunciate your words to where people can truly understand you all right so that's audio i'll see you guys later thanks for watching i hope you guys are enjoying these tips and tricks and different things that i do on a day-to-day -day basis and you guys are awesome man thanks for all the support all right talk to you guys later goodbye